previously on Quantum Break. Paul. Stop! Come back, goddammit! Ah! I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that could stop the fracture. The second time machine. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. We can't fix the machine, but I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The Monarch scientist. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows, then get rid of him. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder, you were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, yeah, I thought this was gonna be a rescue. Yeah, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave me this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emeril? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, weenie. Oh, well, in that case. My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? I'm seeing a radar tower. All right. Oh, you could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? You go. Huh? Dry dog's up. 
Hey. Turned into a disaster. You hear that? It's gonna take him weeks to clean it up. It was all. <sighs> the timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral, he'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I, I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. Well, see if I grab it for you. Yeah, it's true. That freak's one dangerous motherfucker. I heard Hatch made him the first one. Isn't it? What is it? Heads up, we got an intruder. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? <laughs> what is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. Marks a momentous occasion for years we have been Speech is streaming. This day. Let's give Monarch years the audience planning, they deserve. Developing, training. For me personally, this marks the end of a 17-year journey, and today we emerge from the shadows. We do so accepting great responsibility. I present to you the CFR. The Cronon Field Regulator. This device has been at the heart of our Cronon research since 2010, but I am here to assure you that it is so much more than just that. This device will be our salvation, and as promised, it is ready. To some of you, this means nothing. To others, everything. Rest assured, you will all know when the time is right. We are entering a volatile age. Great danger is coming our way. It cannot be prevented, but we can be protected. And so tonight is a celebration Celebration in the face of darkness. We celebrate, but for some of you, this means nothing. For others, everything. Rest assured, you will all know when the time is right. We are entering a volatile age. Great danger is coming our way. It cannot be prevented, but we can be protected. And so tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. We are prepared for what comes next. We are prepared to do what is necessary. We are prepared to survive. Thank you. Look at him. Not a care in the world.
Beth, I'm about to take the elevator. I see Paul's still fond of his own voice. Yeah, he's talking about his survival plan. Crowd's eating it up. The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. It was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. Are you sure this can't be traced back to once? Impossible. Impossible. I've adjusted the flight control, 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 so the drone will, will crash, crash into the villa in your order. order. Good. <laughs> Serene ordered Hatch to kill me because he didn't want to put his plan at risk. Seeing the scale of that facility, I started realizing just how deep that plan went. It made me wonder. Time was ending. What was it all for? Okay, I gotta get to Dr. Amaral's office. The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero. Yeah. That's the 
Where's Amron's office? I knew that Monarch had technology to let their soldiers move in stutters, but this was bigger than that. Somehow, time flowed normally in that area. Suddenly, Monarch's lack of concern about time stopping made a hell of a lot more sense. Dr. Amaral's office must be closed. No alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. That's Emma's office. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Emma's at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. The Monarch combat gear was unwieldy. What I'd taken from Dr. Amaral's office was, uh, is much lighter. Almost like a civilian model. <laughs> 